Title update 1 has dropped for some break and boy oh boy, the grind just got real. Today we're going to look at one of the new skills from the loosened Nargakuga armor, Adrenaline Rush. Welcome back you amazing hunters. With the new crafting augment system, the possibility for awesome armor sets is just amazing to see, but my god is the grind going to be real. So in this video, I'll be breaking down the skill Adrenaline Rush and why it'll work for most weapons, but particularly why it's going to be a necessity for bow. Adrenaline Rush is a skill which grants you extra attack when you perfectly time and evade just as a monster attacks you. Now for most weapons, this skill isn't entirely too useful. Every weapon in the game can use this skill because it works perfectly with the switch skill swap evade. So if you're somebody that uses the switch skill swap evade to dodge a lot of monster attacks, this skill will be useful for you. But more specifically, for bow, this skill might be a huge game changer. And this is because bow's counter skill, dodge bolt, is actually an evade skill as well. So every time you successfully dodge bolt a monster's attack, you counter the monster, you take no damage, you gain 2 levels of charge for your bow, and now with this adrenaline rush skill, you can gain extra attack right after the dodge. Actually, even if you don't counter the monster's attack, executing the dodge bolt early enough still grants you that extra damage even if you miss the counter. Adrenaline Rush's activation window is larger than dodge bolt's counter window, so you can still get that extra boost of damage even if you miss the counter. Adrenaline Rush adds this extra attack for 30 seconds, which is a decent period of time. And for bow, that's a pretty large time gap between dodge bolts. So if you're efficient with bow and dodge bolting multiple attacks, you can practically maintain adrenaline rush constantly throughout a hunt. Most times after a successful dodge bolt, we go straight into attacking the monster since number one, our bow gets charged up and we can deal more damage. And number two, the monster usually takes a break before preparing for the next attack. Most monster attacks will hit you before 30 seconds pass, so with this method, you can maintain that extra attack. So Adrenaline Rush looks like an amazing skill for bow. Now currently, this skill is not a craftable jewel skill. It's only available on the Lucent Nargakuga armor. For you bow gamers, my suggestion is to change the gloves. The gloves have two points of this skill, giving you plus 15 attack every time you successfully dodge bolt. The legs do add the last point, but they don't seem entirely worth at the moment. Maybe if we're lucky, if we can get this skill on a talisman or through the new choreo system, it would be really nice to have because then you get plus 30 attack. However, there is a catch at the moment. Currently, one of the best gloves to run for bow is the Rachna Kadachi gloves. This gives you two cons and one stamina surge with a level 4 jewel slot, which when combined with a hard refresh jewel gives you stamina surge 3. This is extremely comfy and it makes for great DPS. So trading these gloves is going to be tough. It's going to take a big pinch on your stamina to the point that the extra attack might not be worth it immediately. So before you jump into using Adrenaline Rush, I would spend some time gathering some materials through anomaly investigations and start your choreo crafting. You should aim to have these stamina skills on your other armors through the choreo crafting augment system. Stamina Surge 3 is extremely helpful for bow, especially when combined with the, one of the new bow skills, the Stake Thrust. During Stake Thrust, you get a lot of stamina back if you have Stamina Surge maxed out. Constitution is of course very helpful in reducing stamina use and you need at least Cons 3 to make it worthwhile. Your other option at this point is that you can get some decent talismans for Cons or Stamina Surge with a 3 slot deco. Most bow builds require a 3 slot deco on your talisman in order to use the arrow shot type damage boosting jewels. So the build I'll show you guys here, this is not entirely the most DPS optimal, it's more so a good all rounded mix set, but it's for a rapid bow, so I have 3 force jewels for max rapid up damage. So I had to compromise here, I changed out my talisman and I put the 2 waxes on the gloves. The talisman I got here was a really cracked out one, cons 3 with a 3 slot and a 2 slot. The 3 slot is necessary for that 4 shot rapid up jewel, and I placed a stamina surge on the 2 slot. I haven't modded in any of these charms, so hopefully you guys on the PC or the Switch have something similar. Bow builds are a little bit more complex, and they are going to take quite a bit of a grind. For this set though, I do need some more stamina surge, so I'll be continuing my grind for choreo crafting to get stamina surge on my other armor pieces. So it's going to take a bit of grinding, and because the new crafting system is very much RNG based, so showcasing some builds for you guys will take me a little bit of time. 
And again, there's a lot of variations. You guys can replace other level 2 or level 3 skills and then you can move some jewels around. So with the replacement of these gloves, at the least, I would say aim for cons 3, stamina surge 3, and if you can get one adrenaline rush point on another piece of armor, that would be the most ideal for Bo. I really don't have an idea if adrenaline rush can be crafted onto other armor pieces. The system is very RNG and I don't have a list of all the possible skills at the moment. So yeah, if I can confirm that this skill is possible to obtain, I'll let you guys know in a future video. Or if somebody does have a list, please comment below. Knowledge is key for Monster Hunter and quite honestly, I could not do this without you guys. So thank you guys for always commenting when you notice mistakes or if you guys have other suggestions. So that's about it for this one guys. I just wanted to show you guys what you could be aiming for with the new title update if you play Bow. I love this skill. Dodge Bolt as it is is already a very rewarding skill by boosting your charge levels and it's a sick counter. With Adrenaline Rush, your damage gets boosted even more and I feel for Dodge Bolt gamers, it's going to be so satisfying to land those counters and see those big numbers afterwards. So I hope this helps you out hunters. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay safe, be happy, and keep quarry hunting. Sky Sensei is out.